Hello, everyone. Let me introduce myself. I'm Jane Huey. I'm the chairperson for the board of directors for BRCCED. BRCCED has many locations in Ontario, but the main ones are Toronto and Milton. Now the services we provide are quite varied. Some of them are for seniors, where we provide apartments for rent geared to income, apartments, and a social club, TDSC. We also provide services for special needs, and that could include residential living and family support. And also, we have a fabulous program called PAH for mental health. And we offer educational services anywhere from to deaf adults, to children and families, and ASL classes. It's pretty terrific. And if you need a service, what do you do? It's very simple. Send an email to info at bobrumble.org. Now you know, COVID has been going on and on and on. And we've all had enough. But COVID is still here. So be kind to one another. Now, I hope that all of you have wonderful plans for celebrating the holiday season. And I hope it's healthy, safe, And, also, and to tell you from our house to your house. We hope you have a wonderful, wonderful holiday. And next year, let's hope for many adventures, good health, and a lessening, at the very least, of COVID. Thank you so much for watching. Hello everyone, my name is Monty Hardy, my sign name is this. I'm the CEO of Bob Brumble Canadian Centre of Excellence for the Deaf. This time of the year, we gather together as friends and family to enjoy each other's company. We chat in this festive environment and we begin to enjoy each other's company and celebrate the growth the change the opportunities that we've had in this past year we also recognize there are a lot of challenges and losses in this past year finally we begin to have discussions about our hopes our dreams our plans for the coming year. I've been here working at with the Rumble organization for almost six months. The work we do is about people, community, culture, and language. Whatever walks of life that people come from, from around the world, their needs, uh, they're, uh, they're part of our fabric of humanity. The deaf community is also a mosaic of different people, different uh, cultural world 
life experiences. The, the culture of the death is not monolithic. The culture of the death is truly a reflection of our multicultural deaf culture. And last, our visual language. It's a very integral part of our ability to communicate, to express our thoughts, and to uh, inform people of our understanding of the world. People, community, culture, and language is a reflection of the Rumble organization, mission, goals, and values. I'm often reminded how important service to others is in our work. I've learned service to others from my parents, who what, were teachers in Jamaica, group home parents, and workers at the deaf camp. Coming to BRCCED felt like a homecoming for me. It's part of the deaf community. The people we support and the staff we support are part of the BRCCED family. So I hope that this time of the year that we take a pause and uh, work to navigate through this time of the year. Think about the Rumble organization and the people we support and the staff that work for them. Thank you. My name is Arthur Last and it's signed like this. I am the chair for the OMD, which stands for Ontario Mission of the Deaf. The OMD has been around for almost 150 years. In 2022, it'll be 150 years. Yay! I want to thank all of the people at the Deaf Camp and the group home who are all doing wonderful jobs and at BRCCED. We at OMD are OMD Board of Directors wants to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. To all of you, please. Thank you. Hi everyone in the Bob Rumble community. I want to wish you all a very, very happy holiday. Whether you're celebrating Christmas or whether you're celebrating Hanukkah or Diwali or Kwanzaa, in this dark time of the year, we need some light and so I wish you a very happy holiday and to all of you in the Bob Rumble community congratulations on the continued work that you're doing I know that you just recently received a confirmation of a, an Ontario Trillium grant and that that is going to allow you to upgrade your IT and you're going to be able to provide service online to so many of the members of your community so Thank you so much for the work that you do. Bless you and have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. Merry Christmas.
Right on. Check it out. Hello, everyone, and Merry Christmas to the entire Rumble family and to all those that call Rumble their home. Please welcome my good friend Vera. Hi, Vera. And as you know, my name is Marshall Dane. Let's sing some Christmas songs. Here we go. Better watch out. Better not cry. Better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list. He's checking it twice. everybody. Okay, here's another one for you. This one here I wrote. It's called Christmas Eve for Two. Well, it's cold outside, hanging decorations. My fingers are numb, but my heart is patient. Thinking about spending Christmas with you. Shopping the day before So we could kick back a little And lock the door Hang and do not disturb It's a Christmas Eve for two I'm gonna wrap you up Put you under the tree Attach a little tag Address to me If it gets too hot Under the mistletoe We can roll it down Some eggnog and we'll be singing those carols in the New York minute. Let's sort of in a Christmas Eve or two. Oh, yeah. I've got the stockings ready by the Fireplace, put out the cookies for Santa to stuff his face. All the presents are wrapped, but don't you go peeking. Go to bed early, but we won't be sleeping. Having some French champagne, chilling out on ice. You're allowed to be naughty because you've been so nice. Whatever you like, it's Christmas Eve. Maybe you're mine on Christmas Eve. Turn up the lights, it's 
take Christmas Eve for two. Do -do 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 -do. Oh yeah. Oh, I made it through that. Okay, let's sing another one together, shall we? How about this one here? Rocking around the Christmas tree. Oh, rocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. Mistletoe hung for all can see. Every couple wants to stop. Rocking around the Christmas tree. Let the Christmas music ring. Later we'll have some pumpkin pie. of all rocking around the Christmas tree have a happy holiday everyone dancing merrily in a good old fashioned way Christmas tree and a happy holiday. Everyone dancing merrily in a new old fashioned way. Oh, yeah. Merry Christmas, Rumble family. So, uh, Marshall, let's uh, let's just take a listen. Come on in, and we'll take a listen to that. All right, what do we got? So we'll just give that a listen. Do you um? Let's go let that play. But do you remember the first time I met you? The 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 show that you did for the folk at the center. Yeah, down at the rumps, down at the rumps, center, yeah? Yeah, in front of the fireplace. Yeah, such a great show. It's a great night. That was probably my, you know what, that is my favorite Christmas so far to date. Yeah? Let's see if we top it off. No, I don't think we can. Yeah. Such well, a great what, time. what do you remember about that night? Oh, let's see. Singing with Vera. I remember walking in and uh, being excited that we were going to do a little interview. I know we were trying to work on um, uh, talking to some of the different deaf folk about gratitude. I remember that and so we had such a great conversation before uh, we even got into the whole Christmas event. We just had a great time talking to everybody. Um, 
and afterwards taking the pictures with uh, everybody. I got a bunch of pictures, at least I did. I don't know what you guys were yeah. doing, but I was doing selfies and a bunch of pictures with uh, folks that were just super happy. I think it was, I think it was a great night that uh, you brought that Christmas spirit and joy to, uh, to the people that night. And I really look forward to doing more and more stuff with you. Well, let's get back to this new song and uh, can't wait to show the world this new one too. So oh, this will be great. All right. Hello everyone, this is uh, Naomi Hope, she just came to me this last little bit, and there she is, and she's brand new, she's brand new, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about a story that someone you will never have a chance to meet till much later on, this is a story about my dad, your mummy's Grandpa, your great grandpa. And I'm going to tell you a little bit of story about him. And then when your sisters and brothers and cousins come, we're going to tell them a story too. So, long time ago, your grandpa got a job at a church where they sang and did everything and they used their hands because they were people who were deaf and they couldn't hear. So, they used your, their hands to sing and talk to each other. And that's what that kind of looked like, like that. Oh, here's your sisters and cousin now. Oh, look who's here. This is terrific. Come on in. I gotta tell you a little story. Do you remember who this, who that picture is of? Um, your dad? That's dad. my dad. So that is your mommy's you. grandpa <laughs> and your great grandpa. And I was just telling Naomi that I was just telling Naomi that when they went to church Yeah, you can see it. Take hold of it. They would use their hands to sing. And you know what? They loved Christmas. You know what they did at Christmas? What? They put on plays. And what do you think that is? A play a baby kiss. Yeah, no, you guys look at it. No, show you, show your cousins. And do you want to see something really funny? What? Who do you see in that picture, Melody, that you might recognize? <laughs> Who is that? Do you see? Do you see Grandpa? Do you see Grandpa anywhere? And do you see our friend from camp? Do you see Ricky in there? I don't know. Right there. Where's Grandpa? That's your Grandpa. What a haircut. Right here. Oh. That's Grandpa. Yep. I can see What a teeth. He's a wise man. He looks weird. <laughs> Which one's Grandpa? And you see Grandpa's friend Andrew? and Grandpa's friend Monty, and there's Ricky from camp. And we would do plays, that's and we would, Ricky. that's Ricky that's from Ricky camp. Cool. Oh boy. This is Mommy and Dad. So we'd also, what is one of the Grandpa's favorite things? <gasps> Go back. No, just wait. What is Grandpa's favorite thing? What yeah. time of year? Christmas. And what happens at Christmas? We play in the? Snow. Oh. And that's one of Grandpa's sisters, Brenda. Right. We would have all kinds of fun at the church, and the, my friends were from the church. And when I was little, just like somebody I know, who's that? And what's happening to my face? Uncle you lost Cody. That's not Uncle I mean, Cody. You, you lost the truth? Who is that? You. That's me when I was your age. And what, let me see. Who lost the tooth? Uh, and Dot lost it too, so that's very funny. What? And then wait, we, oh, wait. what's some of the things that, that this one? Open your mouth. You lost two tooth. 
And this picture has no, a picture. I love feet. Do you like Grandpa's I hair? Want want hair. Here. I want yeah. up here. Yeah. Do you like Grandpa's yeah. hair? Yeah. Me too. So we would get to get we would get together with our cousins. And this is this is some of Grandpa's cousins. And there's Auntie Kate, Auntie Brenda, and some of Grandpa's cousins pretty funny but we would get together and we would have lots of fun with the church and what's one of the things that you guys like to do around Christmas time who do you get your picture taken with Santa now, who do you think is in that picture mm, mom oh wait a minute I think I hear the brothers yes. Drew can you come sit in here grandpa, she was like oh here's one of the brothers you're gonna come sit up with grandpa and we'll learn to scare. Oh, you are getting big, you little tank. Yes, <laughs> Dad, And we'll look at the pictures in the book. Your grandpa loved to do things with people who were deaf and part of his bigger family who were all deaf. Isn't that something? And you see all these pictures that are in here? And you see all the pictures? Oh. And lots of words, too, but I'm going to show you some pictures. <laughs> oh, there's lots of pictures. And his whole dream was to make sure that deaf people had a place to go to church, had a place to live, and had a place to call their own. And that's why when Grandpa says he's going to the center and he's going to work, that's what we do for our work now, is making sure that that's, grandpa, that's your great-grandpa. Well, Naomi wants to see the pictures, too. That's the trophy, okay? And then here's some more pictures, and there, that is what... That's you. That's not me, even though it looks like me. That's your great-grandpa. And great-grandpa liked to ride what? Motorcycle. And he liked to drive what? A tractor. Oh, Naomi's getting fussy. But he would want everybody around Christmas to come together and making sure that we all celebrate family. And we all celebrate our, our family and our friends and each other. So what we're going to do is we're going to say Merry Christmas to people. Merry Christmas. Can you do it together? Do Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Alright, and I'm just going to read one thing and then we will be done. From Grandpa's book. So this is from your great grandpa's book. <clears throat> and it's and you just listen to the words, okay? There is a gift in laughter. There is beauty in a song. There is warmth in a shoulder. There is gentle in the strong. There is magic in the memories. There is sunshine in the skies. There is gladness in giving. And there's straight starlight in your eyes. There's fun when we're together. Yep. There is sadness when we're apart. There is hope in each tomorrow. And there is joy in every heart. And this is visible when we hear with our eyes. For my family and all that that means, I wish you very Merry Christmas to you and yours. Uh, and it is indeed a, a time to celebrate. Uh, so on behalf of number one, number two, number three, number four is missing, number five, and new number six, we wish you what for people? Merry Christmas. Good. Thank you very much. Have a great holiday and Merry Christmas to all. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in the new year. And take care. Can you do that for people? Do this for people? <laughs> I see you after dinner.